This is the Unit 3 Review Problems, and in this video I'll be doing some problems related to Concept 7. Um, concept 7 is graphing parabolas, or gra graphing quadratics. So this is from slide number 1 on the review problems. To find the vertex of a function, we're going to go ahead and try to get this in graphing form. Graphing form is when you write the equation of a quadratic in this form. So I'm going to substitute the y in place of the f of x. To get it in graphing form, first we need to add the 10 over and then factor out the negative 2. And then we're going to complete the square. So in this case, to complete the square, we need to use the formula b divided by 2 squared. So that would be 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 squared is 9. If I multiply the 9 by negative 2, that gives me negative 18, which needs to be added to this side to balance out the equation. So then we get y minus 8 equals negative 2. This needs to be factored, so this is equivalent to x plus 3 times x plus 3. So in graphing form, I get y equals negative 2, x plus 3 squared plus 8. So the vertex of this quadratic is at the point negative 3, 8. All right, we're going to look now at problem number 2, which is also concept 7. <clears throat> Determine how many points of intersection exist in the following system. So we have a circle in this first equation. Second equation is a parabola. If we graph these, we can quickly tell where they intersect, or how many points of intersection there are. This circle has a center at 0, 0, and a radius of 5. Square root of 25 is 5. All right, so sketching the circle looks something like this. If we sketch this parabola, this parabola has a vertex at 0, negative 13. So that would be down here. <clears throat> at negative 13, opening up because the A value is positive. So we can see here that this parabola has 1, 2, 3, 4 points of intersection. All right. Um, problem number eight on the unit three review is also concept seven. Find the vertex of the parabola. So in order to find the vertex, again, we need to get this in graphing form. So I'm going to go ahead and start by factoring out the negative four and then completing the square. doing the formula b divided by 2 squared. That would be 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. On the other side of the equation, I need to add a negative 36 because of the negative 4 that's out front. So that gives me y minus 36 equals negative 4. x squared plus 6x plus 9 is x plus 3 squared. So my vertex is at negative 3, 36. 